This is part two of Darwin's Tree of Life by Michael Bright and Margot Carpentier. Rise of the Animals Over 600 million years ago, during the Edicarian period, an extraordinary array of animals began to appear. Some were unlike any animals living today, and some, like Carnia, were more like plants than animals. Amongst them were the first signs of a more familiar creatures. Arkarua had a five-pointed star pattern, like a starfish. Jellies with hair. Comb jellies have eight rows of tiny hairs, or cilia, along their bodies. The cilia move like oars, propelling them through the water. Many have a pair of long, sticky tentacles to trap food. They are an ancient group of animals already in existence 600 million years ago. Simple animals. Sponges were among the earliest animals, and even today they are relatively simple. They have no nervous system or muscle. They are the only animals that, if broken down into individual cells, can put themselves back together again. Swimming jellies. The oldest ancestors of modern jellyfish also lived about 600 million years ago. They were among the first animals to have a nervous system and muscles. So, like the comb jellies, they could swim rather than simply drift in the sea or sit on the seabed. Reef builders. Tropical coral reefs are built by polyps. Algae living inside them make food and give corals their color. When conditions change, such as a sudden rise in sea temperature, the coral loses its algae turning white and eventually dies. These delicate animals have almost died out at each major change in the Earth's climate. Such a change due to, due to global warming is going on right now. Flats, tubes and the indestructibles. About 541 million years ago, during the Cambrian period, the major animal groups we know today suddenly appeared. Scientists call it the Cambrian Explosion. Among the new animals were worms and worm-like creatures. Now they include flatworms, earthworms, worms that swim with paddles and worms with legs. The bootlace worm can be up to 55 meters long and is the longest animal in the world today. Left and right, front and back, the an the ancient ancestors of flatworms were among the first animals that had a left and right side. They also had a head end, which meant they moved in one direction. As the head encountered objects in the flatworm's living space first, it is where sense organs and brains developed. This is why our brain is in our head and not elsewhere in our body. Thread-like animals. Nematodes, or round worms, are slender worms without segments. Today, they live almost everywhere on Earth. Over half of nematode species live inside living bodies, including our own, where they are parasites. They are probably the most numerous animals on the planet. Worms with legs. Today's velvet worm looks like a worm, but has legs like a caterpillar's. Its segmented body shows how an earth earthworm-like animal might have evolved into an insect-like one. Water bears. Tardigrades, or water bears, are the toughest animals on Earth. Less than a millimetre long, they can survive nuclear radiation and the vacuum of outer space. They can recover from drying out almost completely and can live for 30 years without eating. Armoured animals. During the Cambrian explosion, predators and prey evolved weapons and offences in order to survive. This battle to outdo one another might have been why there were so many new animals, including arthropods like the fearsome predator Anomalocaris, which is now extinct. <laughs> One defense was a skeleton on the outside of the body, and many of today's water-dwelling arthropods, which include crabs, lobsters, and shrimps, 
have this tough exoskeleton. Ancient arthropods. Trilobites were among the first arthropods. Some slithered over the seabed as predators, some as scavengers, and others swam and fed on plankton. Trilobites were successful for 270 million years, but they became extinct at the end of the Permian period. Earliest living animal. Crustaceans, like crabs and lobsters, are also arthropods. Some of the earliest were the forerunners of modern tadpole shrimps. One species, Triops cancriformis, has hardly changed in 220 million years, making it the world's oldest known species of living animal. Running sideways. The types of crab we see today did not evolve into the crustaceous period when they had to develop robust defenses against their predators, bony fish. One, adoption, one adaptation was to run sideways so their large claws always faced the predator. Living fossils. Horseshoe crabs resemble crustaceans, but like the extinct trilobites are dis distantly related to spiders and scorpions. Fossils of horseshoe crabs have been found in rocks 445 million years old, so scientists refer to modern horseshoe crabs as living fossils. Time of great dying. About 252 million years ago, huge volcanoes spewed molten lava, which hardened into thick layers. The eruptions released vast quantities of carbon dioxide and methane, and the climate warmed dramatically. Acid rain killed the forests, and soil washed into the sea, making it acidic. 96% of plant and animal species were killed off. This was the Permian-Triassic extinction, the worst there has ever been. Lots of legs. The word arthropod means jointed leg, and this group of animals have a lot of legs between them. Insects have six, spiders and scorpions have eight, crabs and lobsters have ten, centipedes have between 30 and 354, and millipedes have up to 750. Some land arthropods have a waxy layer in the exoskeleton that stops them from drying out. Other land arthropods have to live in damp places. First flyers. The first insects to live on land were successful because they developed a waterproof body and eggs that didn't dry out. Insects were the first animals to fly, and modern dragonflies re resemble these early creatures. Their wings do not fold back as later insect wings do. Today, three quarters of all animal species are insects. Early land predators. Centipedes were among the first predators on land. However, they were and still are restricted to living in damp places as they do not have the waxy waterproof layer in their exoskeleton. Modern centipedes, such as the giant tiger centipede, can be deadly. Their front legs are modified as fangs that inject venom to kill prey. Spinning silk. Spiders evolved the ability to produce silk, which is light but incredibly tough, as strong as high-grade steel. They probably used it first to line nests and make egg cases. Eventually, they wove webs to catch food. Sting in the tail. Scorpions are great survivors. When times are tough, they shut down their body and can exist on just one insect a year, yet spring into action immediately if prey passes by. They evolved a stinger on the end of the abdomen for attack and defense. The modern death stalker from North Africa's deserts delivers some of the most powerful venom of any scorpion. Monster creepy crawly. The millipede, Arthur Pleura, which is extinct, was the largest known land invertebrate, up to 2.3 meters long and 50 centimeters wide. It could reach such a size because millipedes need a lot of oxygen to grow big, and in the Carboniferous era, oxygen levels were one-third greater than today. There also weren't many large predators around to eat them. Uh. 
animals with shells. Mollusks were also part of the Cambrian explosion. Many mollusks today have protective shells, either a single shell like a whelk or a double shell like a mussel. A cuttlefish's shell is on the inside. Some mollusks have lost their shells altogether, such as octopuses. This enables them to squeeze into places that most other animals cannot go. Between the tides. Oysters are ancient mollusks with two shells. Many species spend a lot of time out of water on the seashore, which means they're exposed to extreme temperature changes. During the 250 million years they have existed, they have evolved a special chemical that protects them against high temperatures. House on its back. Gastropod mollusks are second only to insects in the number of living animal species. The garden snail is a common gastropod. It has a spiral shell and walks on a slimy foot. The shell protects it from predators and the snail can hide inside it in dry weather so it will not dry out. World's largest living invertebrate. The giant squid is a cephalopod mollusk. Its shell is reduced to a pen inside its body, which acts like a backbone, and the mollusk foot has evolved into eight arms and two tentacles. The giant squid lives in the deep sea, where it grows up to 13 meters long. Its eyes are the size of dinner plates, the largest in the animal kingdom. Floating fossil. The Nautilus family has hardly changed for 500 million years. The Nautilus's shell is a spiral of interconnecting chambers which it empties or fills with water to rise or sink in the sea. It can squirt water to jet propel itself in a burst of speed. It is a living relative of the extinct ammonites. Impact. About 66 million years ago an asteroid slammed into the earth killing three quarters of the planet's plant and animal species. Dinosaurs, nautilus-like anim ammonites, marine reptiles such as plesiosaurs, as well as many other creatures, disappear completely. Spines and feet. Echinoderms are animals with a body based on a five-point pattern. They can be star-shaped, like starfish, almost spherical, like sea urchins, or sausage-shaped, like sea cucumbers. They all move on tiny tube feet that work by water pressure. The group first appeared in the Cambrian period, although on Ediacaran, Ediacaran period animals showing the star pattern could have been a starfish ancestor. Stars in the sea. Starfish had evolved by the Ordoviacan period, about 450 million years ago. They generally had five arms, although some modern species have more. A giant Antarctic species has 50. Some species can shed an arm and grow a new one, and some can remake an entire starfish from just a single arm. Hedgehogs in the ocean. Sea urchins have a hard test or shell covered in sharp spines. The first fossils of sea urchins are 450 million years old, but about 252 million years ago, they were nearly wiped out in a mass extinction event. Cu cucumbers. Sea cucumbers can be long or round, but most still show the five point pattern with five lines of tube feet. They have adopted to, adapted to live at every level in the ocean, from the seashore to the sea floor. The sea pig is a cute sea cucumber that looks a bit like a pig. Deep sea lilies. Sea lilies, or crinoids, are anchored to the seabed by a stalk. They were the world's most common animals 450 million years ago, and they still exist today in the deep sea. Their close relatives, the feather stars, can swim by wafting about their feathery arms. And that is the end of the second part of Darwin's Tree of Life.